walk home. <laughs> There's a lot of people, yeah, you, we teach you, don't see them again. And we, we don't know what happened to them, you know? But a, a lot of people we taught, we did do know what happened to them. And, and it wasn't pretty. Uh, I think it was a skull friend. My brother's uh, son's friend. They were teaching him a skull friend. Nigga, he like, dropped there. It was a woman or something. She dropped there and fucking... I don't know if she dropped there or she got injured or some shit. Yeah. She dropped in the fucking head with his head. Like that. What's up? What's up? We had a lot of stuff like this. Yeah. And, yeah, she got carried off on the stretcher right here. I forgot about that. Oh, I remember the time I went to the campus and she told me shit. She went down the street, came back about an hour later, crazy or yeah, something. Out. Out. Like, well, we had people scoff up, scoff, like drive by scoffing on a bike. One day, hey, <laughs> practice. I cracked his head on the street so I got fucked up. Right. You know, we see a lot of stuff like that. You know what I mean? North, North, North. First Corinthians 13 and 6. Rejoice not in empathy, but rejoice in the truth. Yeah, we rejoice in the truth. That's why we are here doing this work. I, I got a scripture for you. Oh, I got it. Uh, John, First uh, John, five and fourteen, and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to to His will, we ask it according to the Lord's will, not to your own heart, and your own emotions. Oh, man, I lost my spot. Satan, this and this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything. According to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for that for them that, that is sin not unto death. That's the kind of truth he says. So yeah, so you see your brother sinning. That's why you ain't always supposed to be looking for fault, your brother. You got a lot of people. Always trying to just constantly look at brothers, trying to see every last ball coming them out of every little thing. Gotcha. I mean, but well, you know what I mean. Gotcha. That's what but you're supposed to pray for them, though. Right. Right. But, but, but you know what I mean? You got some guys just doing out of wickedness, though. Like, oh, I'm better than you. You a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Because they be over righteous when. It's like this, uh, he, he called his brother out when, uh, when he got a big ass moat in his eye. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. You gotta watch. You gotta you gotta you gotta watch. You gotta watch guys like this. I help you. Crazy question, okay? You guys have changed for a five. I need to get a five. Uh, all right, but this this is the point I'm gonna get though. Uh, if any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life. For them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. So they, you got different types of sins. You got sins unto death. What's a sin unto death? Adultery is a sin unto death. Murder. So yeah, but adultery is the big one, because you know a lot of people is guilty of that. Faggots. Faggots, that's a sin unto death. You ain't supposed to be praying for no faggots. Scripture, just, we just read the scripture. Well, I'll pray the Lord going to bring him out of the, the faggots. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> you, supposed, you know what I mean? If somebody's an adulterer, an adulterer's, that's a sin unto death. That's punishable by death. Yeah. Yeah. Testament, I can probably find the scripture to say you ain't supposed to eat 
pork. Not only are you not supposed to eat pork, but you're not supposed to eat anything that was cooked in the same oven as pork. <laughs> How many of us are guilty of that one? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so there's a balance to it all. But when there's certain sins, though, bro, like adultery, being a faggot, you ain't supposed to be praying for them people, man. Transvestites. This motherfucker got titties and got his dick cut off. You, you go over there trying to teach the gospel. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it does say that. He's not allowed in the temple. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's in the, that's in the, uh, that's in the Old Testament. You're not allowed to come into the temple if you've uh, lost, your, lost your thing. I mean, you're nuts. Righteousness is done. Posting uh, pictures of the sun shining with a dove coming down. You know how they do it? They yeah, got the cross. Little, you know, go to grandma's house. She got the Ten Commandments on the wall. We got Caesar or Jerry talking about Martin Luther King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they ain't kept none of the commandments. You got to honor. We going to just in the bathroom, the living room. And keep, and keep none of the commandments. Well, they ought to be with their list. Even murder. Because you know, somewhere down the line, they come into the abortions too. Oh yeah, abort but they taught that abortion's okay. Yeah. It's my body. Yeah. My body. Freedom to express yourself. That's why that freedom to express yourself. That's crazy. That's disgusting. That's crazy, man. They're going the day after people. That's a hot seller right now. I think it's called the day after people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they commit all kind of acts of going to drunk or run the streets all night. They go home and take a pill. Now they got a new pill that's supposed to protect them from AIDS, too. So they can fuck as many people as they want and not catch AIDS. Because they got an AIDS, pre a, pre a preventative AIDS pill. What does the scripture say? Should I not be avenged for people like this? And what other people act like that? It's only an Israelite that, you know what I mean? Israel's crazy, man. They're going to look them bad, man. They don't care. That's a small matter to report the baby. That's why they do it so easy. And that's another thing too. This society make you think that having a child is a curse. Oh, yeah. Like it's a bad thing to have a child. They teach you, oh, you gonna ruin your life by having a baby when you're 15? That's what you're supposed to be doing. Right. So why 25 and 19? Why is it? Why is this? In the scripture, 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of the woman. That the portion of the sinner fall. I ain't gonna ruin my life. I got plans. I'm going to college. No. There ain't no scripture saying the woman is supposed to have children. What do you think the Lord created you for? We wouldn't even be here if we didn't have women. Retards. But y'all, they say that America's birth rate is dropping at a, a, a rapid pace. Because the, the new generation now ain't having no babies. All the women are having abortions. They, you know, all these contraceptives taking the birth. The birth rate is dropping. Yeah, America's getting old. Cause they teach. That's because they want to depopulate uh, uh, in the whole world. They, they, get, they got a global depopulation plan. And they said there's too many people on the planet. Then y'all buy into that bullshit you know, that y'all's taught. Oh, if you can't have a child when you're a teenager, that'll ruin your life. That ain't gonna ruin your life. You bring a life into the world. How stupid do you sound? That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be having a family a man and a, a man leaves his parents and cleaves unto his wife and they become one flesh and then they have children. Oh, yeah, Simla, like feeding your baby Simlac. Got all kind of poison, got fluoride in it, making your children brain damage. 
because you don't want to mess up. I'll mess up my press. Shit, that brings him up. That tightens him back up. Tightens the coochie back up, too. He's beating your baby, sitting like. the fuck out of here. That's sucking sensation. That's the whole point of it. Tightens shit back up. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived, neither fornicator, nor idolater, nor adulterers, nor feminine, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's all my homosexuals, abusers of themselves with mankind. You got, uh, like you said, you got transvestites out here, men walking around with titties, and chopping off their private parts. You see what these, see what abortion does to a woman's body, man. And you know when you have abortion, they got a little room where you can cry, and they got somebody that come in and counsel with you. Like, that's what they do. Why are you crying? The devil come to comfort you. If there's not wrong with it, why are you crying? The devil come to comfort you. That's your conscience telling. That's the you know the conscience. That's the Most High. That's the Holy Spirit. Man. You know that's wrong, and you know you know it's wrong. Just like even a lot of these homosexuals in their spirit, they know what they're doing is wrong. Like a murderer, when he murders somebody, he know what he did was wrong. Yeah, that's why they call it in the closet. Yeah. Well, that's why the Lord will forgive. You can be forgiven if you're a murderer. You know, we're not the scripts that don't pray for you. But if you, you still be forgiven of that, you'll have somebody to murder somebody. They feel bad about it. Like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul was a murderer. He was murdering uh, followers of Yahweh Shah. But the Lord put the spirit on him. Brought him up out of that and forgave him. So you can be a murderer and the Lord will forgive you. The Lord will forgive all sin except for the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So, so really, really, damn near anybody, uh, you no, know, the anybody that believes can come into this thing. If you believe in this truth, what we're saying, be reborn. You, you got, yeah, right. You be reborn because once you be reborn, you're not even out. You're not that murderer no more. That's, you, you're not that guy. That's the, that's the old person. You gotta kill that old man. Oh, Push that old man down a flight of steps. You know what I mean? Get out of there. You, 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 you gotta be reborn. Nor thieves, nor confessions, nor drunkards, nor extortioners yeah. shall inherit the kingdom. Yeah, extortioners. Because you got people coming to the truth, they extort brothers. You had a case of that pop up recently. Brother was getting money from everybody in their camp and keeping it. Churches do that. And churches do that. So you, you get you gotta watch people always talking about money all the time. Brother, I always. said you ain't paid your tax for about uh, two Sundays now. Everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting checked off. <laughs> but here it is, it's hard enough to live as it is. You know, most brothers can't barely afford to eat. We got children. I can barely feed for I can barely afford to feed my children. You know, I'm walking, I got two pairs of pants right now. I had three, my other one's just got another hole in it. So I'm down to two. I'm out, it's just rough out here, you know what I mean? Going to the thrift, get my clothes from the thrift store. But you got, that's how all brothers are, you know what I mean? We all poor, we ain't got shit. But he saw, they say that's the word. He make it look like, uh, oh, you talking about a thrift store, he ain't good, no, my no good, good piece of shit. I can't afford no $50 pants. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> That's how much you charge, ain't it? Like for a good pair, like fifty. You go to the thrift store, you get the same pants for like five dollars. Like two hundred, three hundred dollar pair of pants. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the cheap shit. They look at you like you raggedy. You got a fifty dollar pair of pants, they laugh at you. That's crazy. That's how stupid Jake is, man. And what? What? I need Jordans. Everybody got J's. And a pair of Jordans gonna cost you at least one fifty. You know what I mean? Unless you go get the fake ones. So how stupid it here it is you ain't got no money to begin with, and you gonna waste all your money on a pair of Jordans just so you can be accepted by this piece of shit world. Oh. Oh, he got on Jordans. He's one of us. Yeah, he's one of us. He's acceptable. <laughs> broke his head. Fuck out of here, man. Verse 11, and such were some of you, but ye were are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by the Spirit of our power. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful, but all not expedient. 
Oh, that goes into a lot of things. Go ahead. All things are lawful for me, but I would not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly, and the belly for meats, but the Most High shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And the Most High have both raised up the Lord, and will also raise up by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Yahweh Shai? Shall I then take the members of Yahweh Shai and make them the members of an harlot? The Most High forbid it. Yeah, because you got these fools out here. That's all they care about is fulfilling their flesh. They have, like the scripture said, he's, uh, they abuse themselves with mankind. They, all they worry about having sex all day. They've been having sex with men, with women, with animals. You know what I mean? Constantly, all they think about all day is getting drugs, uh, getting drunk every day. Just all, all the thing they're doing is trying to fulfill that. You can't fulfill the flesh. You can't. You can't make the flesh happy. The flesh don't be happy. Flesh never happy. They never happy. They never happy. Always wants more. That's why when you do, when you get hooked on drugs, here it is. You do these drugs like heroin, uh, pills. I know all kind of pill heads and drug addicts, right? And they always feeling like shit. They get sick. If they don't get that dope, they get sick. And when they do the dope, they still sick. Irritable as hell. Not you can't. because of depression, but because of what they do. So you ain't going to feel good in this world at all. You ain't never. If you have this truth, you still ain't going to feel good. We'll feel good that we know the truth. And that we, uh, we know the truth of the kingdom. But we still going to be feeling like a pile of shit. Because we got these shit, these worthless bodies. Living in a worth, worthless world. Among worthless people. And that's why, hey, let me get a scripture real quick. Uh, Isaiah 36 and, uh, is that 36? Wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, you're right. Isaiah, uh, 30, yeah, 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So that, that's the only fulfillment you're going to get. That's when it's wisdom and knowledge. But you're still going to be feeling like shit out here. Like the scriptures say, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. You'll go crazy living in this world. You'll go mad. Colossians 3 and 5 says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Mortify means kill. Yeah, mortify means death, right? Like mortuary. It says fornication, uncleanness, incordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedient, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived the doom. But now ye also put off these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Why not to one another? I see you gotta put off that old man. So if say you hear this truth and you you feeling these words, you can't go back to the old you. You can't be out there uh, committing adultery, trying you know stealing, robbing, going up in Walmart shoplifting. Cause you hear people use excuses. Oh, well Walmart's owned by Edomites, so I can go rob them. I, you hear people say that I can steal from Edomites and he. No, you can't you're supposed to be stealing and shoplifting. So you got blameless. So I'm saying you gotta be without blame. You can't be all this way. It's a prophet. You gotta be words. You gotta be stupid. You gotta be the man's wife. You gotta be. You gotta be innocent. So when they do come out of with, uh, with uh, you know, with, uh, fucking army and shit, they come out of this. You gotta be you gotta be innocent. Yeah, that's true. You know, you get locked up for that.
Like, if you're back in your old life, you was eating the prop worse, having a barbecue, firing up the pork ribs and all that. You can't do that no more once you come into the world. You can't be something like we was in the world, we celebrate Christmas. When you come in the truth, you can't celebrate no Christmas. If we got brother here, like, really, I mean, if you put it this way, if you, like, happen to be at your family's house on Christmas Day or Thanksgiving, if you eat some of their food, as long as it's lawful, you ain't going off. I mean, it's food. Food is food. Right? He said somebody invites you to it. That's what... That's why Paul said all, uh, all things are not expedient or something like that. Free food. I'm not buy no food. Right, that's free food. food. Like, oh, I thought you don't celebrate things. I don't. Just because you eat some fucking food, don't mean you celebrate things. Because you're right, you better eat like some bullshit. <laughs> 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 shit, they, 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 they offer us a day off of work. Shit, I'm taking You're going to take it. All right. So when you work, uh, work and they're going to give you a Christmas bonus, because a lot of jobs do that, they get, so you got to get the Christmas bonus back. Car, yeah, a little five dollar car, you Give it back, cause you got a lot of guys that they, like I said, just some guys are always trying to find fault in their brothers and stuff like that, man. I don't celebrate that shit. Be allowed in job shit. I don't celebrate that shit. Cause I see, to slavery. Cause I see somebody on YouTube getting on brothers for saying that, that you could eat food on your family on them certain days and stuff like that. Well, they said we was wicked because. Said you could do that. It ain't like we out there decorating Christmas trees. We ain't with that shit. We got stars. Let me help you out. Right, we, we see that damn Christmas tree, we get sick to our stomach. I'll be so devilish, I'll be fucking the lights out and turn to take a light out or something. Like, you know the lights are here. You it's take like, one. What to the light or something? Like, oh, no. You take, you take <laughs> one bulb out and it's crap. <laughs> this still work like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, it still work like that. You take that one bulb out, it's over. <laughs> Hey, that's when we was kids, we used to skip school. It was like, fuck school. We used to go to skip school at Christmas time, and we'd destroy everybody's Christmas decorations. We'd rip the lights out, and we knew the trick to take that one bulb out. We, we'd punch Santa Claus in his nose, <laughs> kick over the reindeers. It was like, and that we didn't know. We used to just be destructive little kids, but that was the spirit. That was the spirit of the Lord on us. You know what I mean? Matthew 23 and 33, you serpents, you generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation, damnation of hell? Hey, that's a good look. Be amongst serpents and vipers. Like what is it, uh, poisonous snakes out here. And they, they made a, a league, they made a, like we supposed to be following the covenant. We made a covenant with the Lord. The two thirds of Israel made a covenant with the serpent. Yeah, covenant with death. And yeah, what is that scripture? Covenant with death. Yeah. So that's the thing is, I'm saying, damn These people love death, man. They love death for the life. Because what is